okay when we put up the videos on databases I, I built this SQL database module here and it has a couple store procedures in it SQL database which shows you how to select from a database insert into a database update and delete into a database and then the other procedure up here shows you how to use a store procedure a store procedure uh, like this and the main point I want to make in this video is that now we can take all this code and with a very minor change we can access databases on Microsoft Access. So notice here when we opened our connection to a da the database in, in the videos we put up about databases we use this SQL OLEDB and we said that tells this object we're using a SQL database. Well now we want to put up a video on how do, how do we do all this stuff with store procedures and insert update delete how do we do all that on an access database? So let's see how we do that. I'm going to go to modules. I'm going to go to insert module and go to uh, properties. And I'm going to call this access database. Now I have a module here. And I can write some code. And I can write some code to access and and a query from this database. So I have a I have a database here called company and it's a Microsoft Access database. And this is what it looks like. <clears throat> it's called company, you can see that. And it has a couple tables in it. The first table it has is called company. The next table it has is called people. And we're going to deal with this people table and if I open it up look at it um, it has four fields ID name age and date those are the same four fields that we see we've seen before in our SQL server video here ID name age and date we had a people table and it had those same fields now we're not using SQL server anymore we're using access Microsoft access and we have the same field so basically I created the table in SQL Server and I created the same table in access not with the same data but just the same fields and I also created the same stored procedure remember in the SQL Server video over here there's a store procedure and we took a look at it right here it's called get people data you pass in an ID and it selects from the table where the ID is greater than whatever the ID you passed in. I created that same store procedure in access right here. And you could see that because you know here's here's where I I put the parameter ID is integer and if you right click and you go to SQL view, you know here's the SQL that allowed me to create this store procedure. So this is a store procedure. And what I want to show you in this video is, is how easy it is now that we have our, our VBA code here in this SQL database module, how easy it is to go from querying SQL Server to querying Microsoft Access. So all I'm going to do is copy all the code here. I'm just going to, you know, I'm in the SQL Server database module. I'm going to copy all the code and I'm going to paste it into this access database module and when I scroll up I'm just going to change the names of the sub procedures from SQL database to access database and I'll scroll down and there's another there's another sub procedure here I'm going to call it access database and this is the one we'll look at first because this is the one this is where we first learned how to select from a database and then later on we learned how to insert update and delete and all I need to do to change this code to to select from the people table in access is to change the provider here 
and a couple other things in this connection string. So I want to change the provider to not SQL anymore. I want to change it to Microsoft.ace.db.12.0. And that tells this connection object that now I'm using a Microsoft Access database and I can delete these other two parameters uh, that were integrated security and initial catalog and now I only need to provide the data source before for SQL Server it was the server and I'll put that in parentheses or no uh, yeah I'll put it in parentheses And now for access, it's going to be the path to DB. So here I'm going to put the path of the database for this data source. And this initial catalog, I'm just going to put not needed for access. So now I need to still fill in this data source for my access connection string. And that is going to be wherever my database is. So I'm going to find it on my computer. And it's right here in my C drive users folder. And I can just paste it in. And then it's called company.accdb. and now I have a connection string to my access database and what I can do now is run this code and it should work fine and that's all I'll need to do to access my my uh, to get to my access database let me close this stuff so here's my worksheet what I'm gonna do is go down here now that I'm using an access database in my VBA code I'm going to get to this point and I'm just gonna run this code and notice at this point there's no data on the worksheet right now I'm gonna put the data on the worksheet and which data am I gonna put whatever's in this record set object and this record set is going to be filled with stuff coming from our access database here and what is it going to be filled with well it's going to be filled with um, <clears throat> you know our select statement here and let's take a look at our access database we have an ID that goes to 5 and it starts with Joe and then it's for it says 45 so let's look at that if we run this we should see the same thing If I click run, there it is. Uh, five is the ID, Joe is the name, and age is 45. And, and then you can continue this, you know, inserting into an access database, updating an access database, deleting from an access database, it's the same code that we saw for SQL Server because both of the platforms, SQL Server and Access, rely on SQL. This is SQL that we're writing. So it's very flexible to go from SQL Server to Access. And even though you might have not used SQL Server, it's good to see it because, because number one, it's probably more, it's probably good for you to see it so that you know like there's a more robust system than access uh, than access it's good to put on your resume it's good to know SQL Server but it gives you a good framework for building out all this code and now all you have to do is change this connection string and you can query your access database just like we create our SQL Server database so let me copy this connection string as well to the other store procedure, the store procedure one, 
here, this access database store procedure. And I'm going to change the connection string here to the access connection string. I'm just going to oops, I'm just going to delete these two lines. Paste in what I copied. And now I can run I can run this code which runs a store procedure from the access database. So here's my store procedure again. If I go to design view, if I go to SQL view, this store procedure does the exact same thing that we did in Microsoft SQL Server here. And we can run it from VBA real easy by just changing that connection string. So now I can run this. I'm just going to click run. It says the record set is empty. And that's because if we go down to this uh, store procedure, I'm passing in an ID of 45. That's because in our SQL Server database, we had IDs that were like 45 like this. But in our Access database, if I pass in 45, there's no record that is greater than a 45. So let me pass in an ID for this access store procedure of like three, and then I'll get these last two rows. So I'll put three here. And when I run this now, I get my three rows, uh, four, five, and six. And that's how easy it is you know these rows are coming from this access store procedure here and if I go to design view I can I can run this with an ID of six or three sorry and I get the same thing here in access running that store procedure I get the same three rows that I get in Excel and all of this is made very easy because of this of ADO you know originally in the first SQL Server video I said this ADO this this ADO object is very flexible and you could connect to any source like SQL Server or Access or other stuff and it's very flexible and as you saw all we had to do to go from SQL Server to Access was change this one line here the connection the connection string line where you open the connection and you tell it uh, what provider are you using and what data source once you do that you can use the same objects you can use the same uh, syntax and you can do the same stuff that we did it with the SQL Server you know get, pulling in data into record sets putting it on the worksheet looping through it all that stuff. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you that connecting to Access is pretty simple. Uh, once you know the SQL Server way, you're, you know the Access way. And even if you don't know Access, I, some of you might, or sorry, even if you don't know SQL Server, some of you might not know uh, SQL Server, but the reason I did SQL Server first is that writing the code is easy I think it's easier in this management studio uh, to see stuff uh, access I think it's not as clear as okay what am I doing you know where where is this coming from and how do you how do you how do you see that the server is here and inside the server there's a table here and then inside the table or sorry inside the server here's the database and then here's the table inside the database and then here's the columns here and then here's the programmability folder with the store procedures here I just think it's easier to look at it in management studio so that's why I coded out I coded out you know what we did is we did videos for this SQL database module here first because I thought it was easier to just do it in the SQL server uh, perspective and then show you that it's real easy to just change the connection string and you could do the same thing with access so if you know access really well then all you need to do is just make sure this connection string is just access and then the path to your access database 
you can use all those commands that we saw in the other videos. Um, so that's it for this video. Thanks.